Hi, this is Kat with Beta Halik, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the Lizzie Honeycomb bracelet. Now, this is just a really fun little bracelet that has a little bit of a kind of floral pattern to it, and it features our two whole honeycomb beads. Now, I just want to point out that this particular bracelet that I'm going to be doing in the video is six and a half inches, and it uses 13 of the center honeycomb beads. So if you do need to make it longer or shorter, feel free to adjust, but you will get plenty of honeycomb beads to make this longer, just to let you know. So for this video and this project, <laughs> you're going to need the two whole honeycomb beads. I'm gonna be using size 11O Toho seed beads. I have some super duos here. I have a magnetic clasp, which means I'm going to need two open jump rings and two closed jump rings. And these are both five millimeter 20 gauge. I'm gonna need a couple pairs of pliers to help me out with those, and I have my trusty thread zap to help me with those tails. Now, I've already threaded my size 12 beading needle with crystal fire line. So we're just gonna go ahead and dive right in and get started. So this bracelet works up in a, a little units, so we're gonna start by picking up one honeycomb bead, one seed bead, three super duos, I'm just gonna set those down. One seed bead. And now I'm gonna pick up one honeycomb bead. One more seed bead. Three of my super duos. And one final seed bead. I'm just gonna slide that all the way down towards the tail of my thread. And you're probably gonna to wanna to leave a good tail of about, I'd say six to eight inches just to tie that off at the end. So now go ahead and take that and you're just gonna create just a simple overhand knot, bringing those two ends together. And I'm just gonna double knot that for a little security. All right, there we go. So now this is my first unit. So I'm just going to take my needle Get my tail out of there. <laughs> I'm gonna take my needle and I'm just gonna go and get it up and over these seed beads here and all the way through those three super duos. And you're gonna go down through that honeycomb bead. Make sure to not catch that second seed bead that's down there. And now you're coming out that first hole. So to create that second unit and to turn your thread around, you're gonna just come up through that second hole of the honeycomb bead, and then you're ready to add on a whole new unit. So again, it's one seed bead, three super duos, one seed bead, slide that down. I'm gonna pick up a new honeycomb bead One seed bead, just one. <laughs> Three super duos. And one more seed bead. Got a little tangle there. Just work that out, there we go. Slide that all the way down. And now I'm just gonna go back up through that first honeycomb bead. And again, I'm just gonna work my thread all the way over. And you wanna keep fairly good tension on this, but it doesn't need to be too tight. Coming out that honeycomb bead right there. Just sort of adjust that. And now I'm gonna go up through the second hole of that honeycomb bead. And that's all you need to do to create the units. So just figure out how many honeycomb beads you want to add and you'll be able to sort of count your units. So I'm gonna continue weaving and I'll be back to show you the next step. Okay, so I finished the main length of my weave and I'm exiting out that second hole there. So you see I went down through and came right back up. So now we're going to go ahead and add the clasp. So go ahead and pick up six of the seed beads 
and I'm also going to pick up one of my closed jump rings. And now I'm just going to take my needle and go back through that second hole right there. And that will create a nice little uh, loop there for my clasp. So now I'm going to go down through the second hole there. And if you'd like, you can go back through to secure that, but I'm just going to keep on going. So I am going to go, now we're getting a little tighter in here. So I'm going to go down through and I'm going to go around my entire unit one more time. And you might have to just sort of finagle your needle through there. Cause like I said, again, this is starting to get a little bit tighter, which is a good thing. And now I'm going all the way around. And I want to get to the point where I am coming out of that super duo bead. So I don't want to go any further than that. Okay, so I'll show you where I'm coming out once I get my fingers out of the way for you. So I'm coming out of this last super duo here, if you can sort of see that against my finger. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up through the second hole in that super duo. So this is where my thread is coming out now. And now I'm going to do that pretty embellishment all the way across the top. So I'm going to pick up one seed bead and go through the next super duo, pick up one seed bead, go through the next super duo. And now to get all the way across and do that jump, I'm going to pick up two seed beads to make that little embellishment. So you're just going to continue all the way down the side here just by picking up one that goes in between and then two for the unit bridge. Okay, so I'm just finishing my last unit here. So you're coming out of that second hole of that super duo there. So now I'm going to, again, create that little thread bridge and go around and go into that second hole. Again, this is getting a little tight here, so you just might need to just sort of finagle your needle in there. And I'm going to go again all the way around. And again, same as we did on the other side, make sure you're coming out that super duo. And now I'm just going to kind of flip my piece around and I'm going to repeat that whole thing going down the other side. So just one seed, one seed bead in between that super duo and another and picking up two. So just continue all the way down and I'll meet you at the other side. Okay, so I've made it all the way back to my original side. And now I'm just going to tie off and weave in this tail. So just go back through a couple of beads. And I'm just going to sort of go down there and go through that thread bridge that's underneath and just create a nice little knot. And just thread through the next couple of beads just to secure that. And you can make a couple of knots if you like, just to add a little extra security for yourself. And there we go. Okay, so now I'm just gonna quickly zap off that thread. And if you've never used a thread zapper before, they're really easy. You just sort of pop it up and let that tip get a little warm. 
and you just go in and zap off your thread. Nice and easy. So I'm gonna take my needle off of that tail and go ahead and set that aside. And I'm gonna go back to my original side because I still have to do the clasp for this. So just go ahead and re-thread your needle. And if you need a little bit of help, you can take a pair of pliers just to smush that side and make it a little bit easier to thread. There we go. All right, so now I have my needle on that original tail, that six to eight inch tail that I left on the side. So now I'm just gonna go up through and down. I'm gonna pick up six seed beads. one of those closed jump rings and just go back down through. Gonna go up through that second bead right there. And now all I have to do is I'm gonna tie a little knot here, same as I did on that other side. Just making sure not to catch anything. There we go. And I'm just gonna thread it through a little bit. I'll tie one more little quick knot for myself. And all the way back down. Okay, now again, just taking my thread zapper, letting it heat up for a minute, and zapping off that thread. So now I can set all that aside. So now, very quickly, you're just gonna take your open jump rings and your two pairs of pliers, stuck to me. <laughs> and I'm just gonna open that up, hook it onto that closed jump ring on that one side, and hook in, oops. <laughs> Definitely be careful with the magnetic clasps. They will attach right onto your pliers, so just be careful of that. There we go. And just close up that jump ring. And I'm actually going to separate that magnetic clasp from myself. Take that second jump ring, open it up, hook it on, attach your clasp, and close up that jump ring. It's nice and tight. So there you go. That is how to make the Lizzie Honeycomb Bracelet. And you can do this with a lot of fun different colors. As you can see, I had that sort of white base and just added my favorite focal color to complete this project. You can get all of these supplies and more at betahalik.com.